I suggested last week, maybe the structure that we should be looking at is this, this local trading range with phase A. Look at the extension of the rally in phase B. It's definitely losing momentum, suggesting some kind of reaction. And we've discussed how on this bar, supply has come in for the first time, but it's still holding. And on this bar, we said, that's it. We are done. We are going into reaction and we are expecting the reaction to come to this support level. Well, we'll talk really quickly about the character of it in a second, but look at how the price tries to do two things here at around 4,300, above 4,300 and below 44. First, it tries to touch the support, but it doesn't. Not only that, the actual close is up there. So look at how much space it didn't really close into that gap. Is this an element of strength or is this an element of weakness? Obviously, strength. And then the second thing, if you think in terms of the wake of structure and wake of label in phase A, phase B, then could it be potential phase C? What would we see in phase C as spring? What kind of sprint? Number three or number two? Well, this seems to be number three, right? So if this is our phase C right here, this is a sprint. This is a test of the sprint. And I see how this distance from the support to the close is quite extensive. I mean, like it just, there is no movement here. There are no closes below this level. And then the second objective for the price to go down was to violate the support and just to see what kind of demand we're going to have here. And right away, there is no commitment below the support. The tail on the intraday basis is not extending too much. The close is in the upper part of the spread and it just behaves like a sprint. And behind that also, a slight increase in the demand. Uh, so